the Michael. <laughs> yeah, the Michaels. The Michaels are feeling good. Okay, so this morning, okay, um, by just a show of hands, how many people here have looked at this week's challenge description? Been able to look at it, okay. Okay, so yeah, that's good. That's a very good sign, okay. Okay, so um, thank you so much. So how many people are excited for this week's challenge? Because it's a bit... <laughs> okay, a lot of people excited. Okay, okay. Same, Christian, Deborah. Okay, okay. Thank you guys so much. All right. Okay, so now let's start off with the announcements and then get into the whole um, morning stand-up. Okay, so first thing here is um, this. Okay, you guys, you've already gone through the challenge description which is actually quite good, okay? So um, just check your schedules, okay, in the Google site and you would see um, when you have um, whatever you're supposed to have. So we have this daily morning stand-up and then we have the Ask Me Anything and you're going to have a discussion on the week's challenge with Yabba Bell and that is going to be from 11.30 okay, UTC to 12.30. So just be on the lookout for that. And please, guys, always try to check your schedule, okay? Now, um, the leaderboard has been updated, okay? So by um, a show of hands, have we been able to go through the leaderboard? Yes, okay. Okay, so that's good. So the leaderboard updated and um later on we're going to have Malet read out the badges to us okay okay thank you michael jermaine thank you i see you guys so later on we're going to have um Malet read out the badges to us okay now profiles if for some reason you have not yet submitted your profile or if you've gotten a feedback on your profile and you still have to update it and make the necessary changes, guys, try to do so, okay? Try to do so as best as possible this week, okay? So try to work on your profile. Okay, um, Christian, I see your message. My lady is going to go through that, okay, immediately after this announcement. Okay, and um, secondly, on my list right now, um, we are going to have a guest talk on Thursday, okay? We are going to have a guest talk on Thursday with Professor Axel Gungagomu, okay? So it's on Thursday, and it's already been pinned in your schedule, and the time for it is 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. UTC. And um, a link to his post has already been supplied. So it would be great if before the um, before the town hall, the guest talk, sorry, you could have gone through it to know what he has done. You know, probably that might prompt you to have possible questions, possible interests, okay? Now, after this morning stand-up, we're going to have our AMAs, and today we have um, Behigu, okay? So um, before we get into the morning stand-up, let's just... Uh, let me see if Malet is here so that she can just okay yes. okay so she can just okay. give us a rundown of the badges. Good morning, Malet. Good morning, everyone. How are you? Oh, fine. Uh, how was yeah. your weekend? Uh, Mine was good. Okay, so uh, let me announce the. Yeah, what they call it, the week six leaderboard badge winners. And uh, for uh, this week six badge winners, we have uh, a special uh, selection from the submissions, and we have made uh, some sort of selection based on their submissions from both the code quality plus the documentation stuff. So, uh, you all done well on the submissions you have submitted for the GitHub link. And I would like to appreciate that. Uh, let's try to um, list names for uh, for the recognition purpose. 
So, Milky Bakala, good, well done on the good documentation part and um, as well as um, good quality code. Uh, Elias, also, you uh, have good documentation and good uh, code quality. Daniel, uh, he has also uh, good documentation and good quality codes, some reasonable quality code. And the Lalam Town also the same. You have provided a good quality code plus uh, um, good documentation. And Stella, uh, uh, Stella Kitkaba uh, for good documentation part. Uh, we'll, and um, uh, Bethlehem, uh, yes, Bethlehem CSI for good documentation and um, these are uh, this week uh, um, trainees who have submitted good uh, uh, good documentation plus uh, good quality uh, code and for this week we have one special badge winner uh for, from the perspective of this good documentation plus uh, excellent code quality he, he is uh you will find i so uh i just want you to celebrate you will find this uh, badge all of you and we have given the badge for him this week special badge so the rest who who, who um, listed your names are uh, we would like to encourage your works your submissions and we would like to appreciate mm -hmm. all you have done for um, to tackle the the week six challenge thank you very much yes um yeah go ahead okay so I just want to say, like, I think it's probably, it's it's not this week, just uh, you probably, uh, so it is the agree take week and the code quality. I think in general, as Marit said, it's good submission. There's quite a repetition, um, which means that either it's kind of like you shared, which is great, but one of the very downside, like other than UL, uh, almost everybody didn't recognize or didn't acknowledge where they take the code, even if the codes are kind of more or less similar. And some of you tried the test, which is great, especially like uh, Betelheim and, and others that I have seen. I think I haven't seen fully. I think uh, Mahalait and Abu Bakr could tell you more in that detail. But most of you, just the tests, it's okay but it's not that, like, it's not absolutely to the level that I would expect that you could write even simple 30 minutes, you know, spent on unit test, you could have done better. And some of you basically even just have a completely unrelated unit test. And I find that one, you know, it's okay. I think having a unit test, if you do it because it's like you don't have time and you put just a folder and, and that's it, then it's great. Just and then, you know, time run out. I think if you do that, absolutely, you know, great. At least having that, remembering that you need a unit test is already a good deal. So if you have done that, great. But if you have done it just, you don't understand and you copied it from somewhere, I think that's at this time, that would be something I would say uh, not good. I think you should be at least have a unit test. If not, if an empty folder is fine, then completely copying unrelated unit tests. That's basically, you know, if I were, to select, and if I go to the unit test, and if that matters to me, and then I see that you you have done something unrelated, I completely just don't trust anything you do after that. And that is a very, very serious one that I have noticed. Don't put anything unrelated. Don't put something that just, you think it's okay, but it will just basically destroy the entire trust that you are building as a profile. So I am very seriously saying like, you know, try and if it's something clean it if it's by mistake because you copied it from somewhere clean it just you shouldn't make that kind of mistake and you really congratulations i think of all the the one i've seen 
the first person at least if you have if other person does it great and i it's because maybe i haven't went through the entire uh, one but of all the people that are mentioned here it's only ul who puts acknowledgement that puts you like by far the most trustworthy because you seem to you know acknowledge somebody like from whom uh, that you took or from the source while if all the other people look similar the code and if it's not acknowledged i doubt then what happened like i'm sure you know you have done great but what happened i think these are the things that as an employer people take serious because they already don't trust you that you will do good because that's you know you are from africa and most of the time that is this you know concept and if you just have one of those things just that you haven't acknowledged or something then I you mean, know, it might might work against you. So just especially after this week, like, you know, that you are now really going after the job and people might be looking at any time, make sure that when you are significantly taking some work, acknowledge, just mention, you know, link their, their page or, you know, if it's like some significant building and say like, okay, this code or this package is built on top of, you know, uh, this person's work which really is good for you, not bad. Like it really shows like you are a professional. So I just want to stress that. But overall, of course, like, you know, it was a very small amount of time. It was a hard job. Almost everybody has really done well. And, you know, you should, you should be happy. But don't take some small things, just destroy your hard work. Okay, so I'm done with that. Thank you so much for that clarification, um, Yabo Bell. Um, I am sure that they're going to try their best to just acknowledge in future submissions whoever code they use. Okay. Um, as Yabo Bell has said, that is best practice. Okay, so quickly for this morning's stand up, um, let's just have a few people, first of all, okay, tell us um what they did to relax on sunday and um what they're planning to do okay um today and if you have looked at the challenge description if you have any question any concern any comment about it this is the perfect um place to just voice out your opinions okay so um who is going to start us off this morning Okay, have you gone through the have you gone through the document? Are you excited about it? Okay, um, do you need any clarification, anything you would want to know? Who is going to start us off this morning? As well as as well as if I can say that if you have any, you know, um if you think that your code wasn't was overlooked on the badge, at least on the one that is um, announced, I think that's also good. Because we sometimes, you know, we're, we may make mistake and, and you know your work and we may have, we may underestimate. And so you should always just say like, um, this thing's clear because in a job environment, just making it very clear makes the environment better overall. So if you have also some, you know, just some feelings, reservations, just you sh it is a good place. To, to let it out such that we can, you know, take a look later as well and correct if we make a mistake. Okay, thank you. So um, who is going to start us off this morning? Amasia um, has also made another good point. If you feel that probably something was overlooked, just let us know now, okay? Okay, um, no one wants to start the ball rolling, so going to have to start here with um, Mubarak Sani. Mubarak, good morning, how are you? Are you in a position to join us this morning? Good morning. Sorry. Yes, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, yeah, so um, have you gone through the leaderboard? Yes, yes, yes. I've gone through the leaderboard. Uh, <clears throat> I've acknowledged my, my position on the leaderboard. So, it's fine. 
Okay, okay, <clears throat> that's good to know. Okay, so um, have you had a look at this week's challenge description? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, okay. Sure. Yeah, I discovered that it's uh, more or less like a cargo competition where to enter the competition of cargo. That's okay, the, so are you excited about it? Are you yes. Do you feel prepared enough for it? Yes, yes. Although I haven't gone through the after the stand for try to do so to learn to understand the whole what okay yeah. Okay, yeah. Mubarak. Thank you so much for starting us off this morning. Um oh. can you please <clears throat> choose the next person? Um, Christian. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Christian yeah. Zanu, good morning. How are you? Yes, good morning. I I'm fine, and you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Okay, so have you gone through the leaderboard um, and you've had the badges been announced? Um, is everything okay on your end? Do you feel that probably we might have overlooked something in regards to your submission? Um, yes, I think I think I think that you you can take uh, maybe another look of that and you get me. What you, what you think? Um, I did not quite get what you said, Christian. I'm sorry. If you could speak yes. a bit louder. I, I was saying that it would be good if you can take maybe another look of that and uh, uh, give me feedback about that. Okay, for the Agritech week, right? Yes, yes. Okay, okay, definitely. Um, so what about this week's um, challenge description for week eight? Have you gone through it? Uh, I'm still reading it, so I think uh, before we start our meeting with Yebaba, I will be ready to ask maybe some questions about that. Okay, okay, so that's good, that's good. Um, so what did you do yesterday? Uh, yesterday, I think um, I just um, I fixed my my readme on the GitHub for goals and inference, and maybe to go. I, I try also to go through the code. And see what I can add in, in, in order to make it very easily and clear for for you to, to read it. Okay. And I think at the evening I spend my time to on the bed. I take a rest, I think. And after okay. I go I go to church also. So Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. okay. Relax. Okay. Okay, that's that's great to hear, Christian. So <clears throat> can you just Help us choose the next person. Yeah, uh, I think I will choose uh, Bego. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Yeah. Yeah, uh, how are you? Hi, how are you? Fine. Okay. So, um, have you had a look at the little... Uh, yes, I saw the updated leaderboard um, and our, that's good for me, but uh, one thing I want to confirm is uh, like in each category, there are a lot of trainees. Does the order matter in one category? Like, it is understand? Okay. So in section one, there are like six or seven students and there's one on one and two, three, four, five, like listed, but so does the, is the order in matter in one section or it doesn't matter? Okay. Um, for, for all practical purposes, let's say no. I mean, the order, definitely, of course, we try for the leaderboard, we don't try to show any like kind of distinction because it depends on our accuracy, the measurement accuracy, and we, sometimes don't think we are able to distinguish between a point you know some one and two right so it's kind of that is much more of a range and if you are in that range then you are in you know in the first uh, category or in the second category like that so it's like if if you think of the order in for all practical purposes just basically means this is the kind of error bound that we have within that error, it's the same. 
And if we had an, like a very, very precise measurement, the order would have mattered. But we don't think we have that uh, very precise measurement. We are measuring only a few things, the things that we see, and we don't measure how much you spend the time and how you learned. And so that will most likely be reflected in the competency uh, map that we will produce. But yeah, so for now, it's just only the category more important. Thank you. Question? Okay. Okay, thank you so much for that, Yababo. So um, have you had a look at this week's challenge description behavior? Yes, I, 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 I took a look at it and I went into Kegel and I, I created a, an account there. And I tried to join the competition and I knew I should verify my phone number here, but uh, I don't know why. So the system doesn't allow the verification for me. I'm trying that, but I have gone through it. I am reading the features, and so I'm on it. I I, I read the, the questions and the descriptions and the websites. As well. Okay, okay, that's good. Um, good to hear that you've taken it one step further. Okay, um, yeah. So I'm not even going to ask you how you spent your Sunday because we have you today for this morning's um, Ask Me Anything. So um, can you just choose the next go? Okay, I pick Stacy Kilika. Okay, thank you, Stacy. You're up. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Okay. So, um, the leaderboard, what's your feeling about it? Have you checked it out? Uh, yeah, I've checked it out. Okay. And Do you question any uh, comments? Uh, not really. I think it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm normally not focused on this. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. So um, have you looked at the week eight challenge description? Have you gone through yeah. it? Yeah, I just started going through it and uh, yeah, I've gotten a feel of it. Okay, yeah. okay. All right, so um, how did you spend yesterday? I was actually in those, I slept a lot and uh, yeah, I'm feeling refreshed today. Okay, sleeping's good. Sleeping's good. Not yeah. a lot, a lot of the time, but yeah, definitely we need it to unwind and relax. All right, Steshi, um, thank you so much. Uh, can you please help us find the next trainee this morning? Uh, yeah. I'm on. Okay, I'm on. Kimutai. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Okay, good. I'm on. So, um, the updated leaderboard, have you gone through it? Do you have any comments, any question, anything about it? Yes, I've gone through, but I, I, I feel it's okay. Okay, okay, that's, that's good to hear. So, for week eight, have you gone through the challenge description? uh not really uh, okay. i'm planning to to go through it now okay yeah. okay um please do after this we have the ask me anything session and then after the ask me anything session um you can read the week's challenge and then at 11 30 to 12 30 utc okay um yabba bell um, is going to lead um, a discussion on the week's challenge, okay? So try to be a part, okay? okay? Sure, sure. Okay. Okay, can you help us select the next person? I think we have time for probably two more people. Uh, let me pick Harriet. Okay, thank you. Harriet Tibitenda, good morning. Good morning, Yeti, and everyone. Uh, my weekend was good. My update on the leaderboard just challenging. You go up, you go down. 
just have to keep up and then see how it all ends. For my reading through the same task, um, I'm working on it, not yet done, not yet analyzed all the resources that we've been given to go through. So that's what I've been working on. Okay, thank you so much, um, Harriet. Uh, just try to hang in there and just go through the process, okay? Um, can you help us select the last post stand up? Okay, I'll select Jerusalem. Okay, thank you. Jerusalem, can you join us this morning? Sure, good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing good. <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, have you looked at this week's challenge description? What are your thoughts about it? Uh, I, yeah, I've been looking at it, but I didn't read it um, completely. Just was looking at it. Um, and yeah. Going to read it after this stand up. Okay. Just okay. We're just looking at this a challenge and that. Okay. I didn't see this the description of the project. Okay. Okay. So what about the updated leaderboard? Mm, the one that was sent yesterday? Yeah. Yes. I've checked it. Okay. Yeah, Any comments? Just, just fine by me. Okay. 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 Thank you so much. Um, you, uh, thank you, Yusuf Engdawak. I don't know if that was a mistake, but I saw that you had your hand raised up. Do you have anything you would want to say? That was actually by uh, by mistake. But if you ask me anything, I can just ignore. It's okay. 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 So now that now that we have you here, let's just know how you're feeling this morning. If you've had a look at this week's um, challenge description and um, your thoughts about the leaderboard that was updated. Uh, the leaderboard. Yes, I've seen it, and uh, I was a little bit short of expectations. And, uh, I'm not that satisfied with myself, but uh, I'm gonna push the boundaries of my limit, and I'm gonna work through it about the challenge the kegel that uh, was posted uh, i think it's nice I, I'm, I was actually watching it but it was more like a scheme reading did not engage it in in a very deep way but uh, i think it's interesting so that now finally we have to engage to one of the most machine learning communities in kegel so i'm excited and uh, full of energy Okay, thank you so much. We are so happy that you're excited, okay? Because this is a new week. This is a brand new day. We should try and just find the little things to be excited about. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. Um, I don't know if uh, Yababel or I don't know if Arun is here. If you guys have any um, announcements, you would love to let the group know before we start the Ask Me Anything session. Yeah, I, I want to just say one thing. Christian, I just looked at your um, code as well. I mean, I'm impressed. It's really a lot of work that you have done and really great. So in that sense, definitely you have done amazing. So the, in terms of the mentions, um, the only reason probably that that is different is that in terms of package being a package, it's not yet there. And in terms of the unit tests, it's not yet there. But overall, I can I want to congratulate you. You have moved very far from the first week that I have seen, and that's really great. And I think we will notice and we will also recognize that by looking everyone's code and in how they progressed from uh, week one. Because some of you probably have started without even Python uh, that much knowledge, but now I see some of you are you know putting Git comments of like more than 50 per week, which is really great, which is very impressive things, statistics that employers want to see. And really, I want to say in that sense, like those of you who really are doing that or taking serious, 
committing your code and testing and showing, demonstrating your skill, I want to say congratulations. But in that sense, in terms of the packaging sense, it still needs a little bit of work, Christian. So um, you could look at the kind of the people's mentioned, we'll also post it, uh, such that to see what the structure they have in terms of pose. Your documentation is good, but some of them already deployed it in uh, read, do, uh, read uh, Redocs uh, or like that, I think. Um, and, and so in that sense, it's still the mention, I would say, is fair. Like those who has been mentioned, they have done slightly different um, in such a way, in the way that we ask. And that's usually what the badges are. It's like who did in the way that we mentioned, as well as also the, what the client would want to see in the form of like documentation or the code organization and structure. But with regard to what you have, what you were able to do, the tests and the, you know, the many things that you were able to do is really fantastic and keep, keep up the good work. Okay. Th thank you so much. Great. And and for this week, yeah, exactly. Definitely, we'll discuss. So I don't want to take more time uh, from the MA. But this is slightly different week, and it's going to be the toughest one because what the purpose of this week is to show learned, but it's not enough that you are good here with respect to your peers, but you should be good or you should know your place with respect to the world. And if you have seen the world you will know you still are far from getting somewhere in terms of like some people will do the proactivity to just go and fetch other completely new data, use that to actually supplement because the data that is given probably sometimes is not enough and they do different data engineering, different modeling, different other things. And so it is important that you notice that this is just the beginning. And that's one of the purpose in week eight when, and week nine we do Zindi and Kaggle challenge to demonstrate to show you where you are with respect to the world because we don't want you just to be good here. We want you to be, you know, like to know and improve with respect to like the, the global level because you're going to be working in a global company. So that's the purpose. But read the documentation. I mean, read the challenge document, and we will um, go through and discuss the expectations later. So to you, um, Yeti. Yeah, thank you so much for that, um, Yabba Bell. And as he has mentioned, you guys are going to have um, a discussion today at 11.30 UTC. So um, if you have any question, any comment about that, definitely um, he's going to be there. And I encourage everyone to be a part. Um, on that note, for this, our um, chit chat session, instead of 12, it's going to start at 12.30 UTC, okay? So guys, don't leave, don't leave the few of us to usually join their hanging, okay? Let's all try to just be a part of it. Um, yeah, so um, that's it for this morning's stand-up. So I'm going to stop recording now, and we're going to have Behigu on the hot seat. So we're going to ask him questions, you know, try to get to know him better, okay? So, um, yeah, let me just stop recording. Um, yes.